So welcome to my run through of Harbour. Uh, this is going to be a two player game. Uh, you see we've got player one here is playing yellow, is playing the entrepreneur. Player two is playing the clockwork tradesman and he's playing red. Um, I'm setting up with a simple setup where everyone has four um, their four parts, uh, they've got one of each type of good. And there is the market randomly selected in order. And here are our start cards. So we have an abbey, a storehouse, a pub, a canal, and a tax office. This, by the way, is all the print and play version, not the print on demand version. So it's all coloured in by myself or my children. So uh, you just have to guess which one is which. So let's get going. Um, first of all, the entrepreneur. By the way, I'm using two tokens here, uh, one so I can remember who's who, and then one for actually moving on to the pieces. So, the entrepreneur, first of all, what is he going to do? Uh, he thinks uh, the pub looks like a good idea, so I'll put my token on there. And what we get there is we trade in one wood and one stone, we go down to zero, and you can get two livestock and two fish for that. So we go livestock, two fish. It is now the clockwork tradesman's go. Where's he going to go? I can always start by going on my plague board there if I wanted to. Um, so what else is there in the choices up here? I think he will actually go on his plague board card there, which means he gets a wood and a fish, or he can build, which he's not going to do. So back to player one. Now he's doing quite well on his uh, resources here because, as you can see in the market, the livestock's worth five dollars and the um, lumber's worth four, the fish is worth three, and wood is worth two. So at the moment, if he sold those, he would be able to sell his fish for three dollars at the moment. Uh, the cheapest card at the moment is seven dollars, so he won't be able to buy anything anywhere near yet. So I think he is just going to move his token back to his player board. There we are, which means he gets plus one stone and plus any other goods type. Now as Livestock is the most expensive there, he will move his livestock up. So he's almost got his five for his livestock to get five dollars there. Right, player two. Player two has to move off their board, because they're already on here. They are going to go to the pub. And they will get, uh, so for a lumber and a stone, there's the lumber and there's the stone, they will get two livestock and two fish. Last one, two fish. So they were, they're doing quite well of their choice there. Uh, now, what's player one going to do now? Uh, he thinks he is going to do. What would he like to have? So ideally, he's he wants to get another uh, livestock from somewhere. Um, where would you get a livestock from? There's nothing up here which you could get. Livestock from, although that one actually, yes, you can do that. So if he goes into here, into the storehouse, he will get any goods type. So he'll go up one on his livestock, and plus the same goods type or a warehouse symbol. Sorry, per warehouse symbol. So he'll get an extra type for every warehouse symbol he has. He hasn't got any warehouse symbols. He has an anchor and a top hat, so there's no point in him doing that. But he has now got five dollars if that stays there, and potentially three dollars for the fish. So next turn, he's going to probably uh, build a building. Uh, player two. Now, player two can see that player one is uh, getting close to um, close to building something. So he thinks he's not going to be able to catch him. So he's going to. Um, Think what is he going to sell? What's player one going to sell? Red and blue. So if red and blue go, they will both go down, shuffle along, and the green and the yellow move up. So green is the thing to be most expensive. So where can you go to get more lumber? He can actually just come back to his own spot. 
there. And you'll get another lumber and another fish. You're doing well on fish at the moment. Right, so player one has now got enough, I think, to buy the pub for seven dollars. So you move his token back to his player where he can then build. So he's going to sell all his lumber, sorry, all his um, livestock. He's going to sell all his fish. Come back here. So he sold livestock and he sold fish, which gives him five, six, seven, eight dollars. You can afford to take that one, which he will do. That goes into his area. The market then rejigs, so these move up like this. And then another card comes out, which for $8 is a lumber yard, which is you get one lumber for every anchor. Only the Clockworks Tradesman has an anchor at the moment. One anchor. Uh, interestingly, he has two top hats, but that makes no difference because it's one top hat. At least one top hat means you can go on any other player's card. And I think I'll stop there for now. That gives an overview of a few turns, at least, of Harbour, which is on Kickstarter right now.